This is Mirror Writing and the Da Vinci Code. Let me see what's called that at the end. What I want you to do first, you need at least two blank sheets of paper, okay? So I'm going to just use two, something to write with, I'm going to use this felt pen, and you need a mirror. Now I've got a couple of mirrors here. These are these plastic mirrors that schools often use, and they're double-sided as you can see, but you can use any mirror you want, as long as it's one you can hold in your hand, okay? And you'll see what I'm going to do with this, so that's the one you want to be able to use yourself. First thing though, we're going to do something without the mirror, it's something I hope most of you should find pretty easy to do. I want you to write your name, just looking on the paper, I want you to write your name in capital letters, okay? What we call uppercase letters. Okay, so my name is Dr. Mark, so I'm gonna write quite big letters. Okay, not too bad. Now, underneath here, about there, I'm gonna write Dr. Mark again, but this time in little letters, what we call lowercase. Nobody laugh at the way I hold my pencil, please. Okay, so, pretty easy otherwise. I know I did big writing, so it obviously took a bit longer to do, but otherwise I found that quite easy to do. So I want you to do the same thing. Hopefully you'll find it just as easy. So your name, in capital letters, uppercase letters, and your name again, this time in lowercase letters or small letters, okay? Once you've done that, I want you to get your mirror, hold it up. And this time I want you to hold it against your head like this, okay? I want you to look up into the mirror so that you can see the reflection of that paper and that writing in the mirror. So obviously you can't see me, I'm gonna bend the mirror down until I can see the reflection. There it is, I can see the reflection. And as you'd expect, the writing looks back to front. Now, of course, if I bring my mirror round, hopefully, you might be able to see that if I angle it towards one of the cameras, I can angle it until you can see the writing. you should see the writing looks back to front. So in other words, it's mirror writing. But what I want you to do is hold this up so that when you look in the mirror, I want you to constantly look in the mirror, no cheating and looking down. I want you to write your name again underneath that, again in capital letters, but this time you've got to be able to read it in the mirror. Can't be back to front in the mirror. So think about how that might look here. But remember, I don't want you looking down. You've got to look up all the time, write it in the mirror so that you can read your name the right way round in the mirror. Make sense? And then do the same thing with the lowercase letters. Write your name again. This again will look back to front. If I look at it in the mirror right now, it'll be mirror writing. But in the mirror, I'm going to look up and I want you to look up and write your name in little letters, lowercase letters, so that in the mirror, it does actually look the right way round. And again, it probably won't look right there. So have a go, see how you get on. So I wonder how you got on with that one. Well, I'm going to show you how I get on with it. So again, first thing, I'm going to try and write my name in capital letters so that I can read it in the mirror, remember. So here we go, oops, put a lid on. Here we go. So I'm looking up at the mirror, no cheating. I should start there. Right, okay. Let's see if I can write my name so it looks like okay in the mirror. Wedge my elbow on the paper, stop it moving. a bit tricky. I've done it a few times, I must confess. Oops. Oops. And of course, it makes it a bit more fiddly that you're holding things like this, admittedly, but... No 
notice the position of my pen as well. Mm. Mm. Well, it does read the right way around in the mirror, I have to tell you, but it does look a bit wobbly, even though it is the right way around. Right, let me try lowercase. And you can see actually, even here, they're mirror reflection of each other. That is a wobbly reflection, I admit, but it is a reflection of what's already written there. So that actually gives you a clue about how you need to write it. Let me try that one. Okay, mm, might be a bit tougher. I might need to move my elbow a bit. Well, let's try it without my elbow. I'll choose to use my hand to keep it in place. Again, no cheating, no looking down. Let's try. Mm -hmm. right. I think I might have a bit more trouble with this. Definitely a bit more troublesome. Yeah, interesting, I'm finding it a lot harder to do curly, curly shapes. Yeah. Oh, the last one. Oh, okay, won't be too hard. Right, so again, it looks all okay-ish in the mirror. It's a bit wobbly and wiggly, the writing, but it actually does read as Dr. Mark in the mirror, that one that I just wrote, okay? Well, now you got on with that one. And what's going on anyway? So what's going on? How is it that most of us, and I'm, I'm thinking you probably had the same experience I did, how come most of us can write our names okay when we're just looking straight at the paper in capital letters or little letters or a mixture of course, we often have a mixture, particularly with the capital letters at the start of your name. But when it came to do it with the mirror, to try and write it that way in the mirror so you could actually still read it, it was a bit of a problem. And I'm sure most of you, because I've seen loads and loads of people do this, literally thousands of children I've done this with over the years, and I can assure you they look a lot more wiggly than mine does. So. How come it goes like that? Well, think about it. Whenever you write, I'm just written all over myself as well. Whenever you write, when you're looking, as you're writing, I'll get my pen again, you're using two senses to help you see what you're doing. Of course, one I've just said, you're using your eyes, you're looking as you write, and your brain is receiving information about how your hand is moving so it can see where to write. The other sense you're using is what we call the kinesthetic sense. And that sense is, helps your brain figure out where your body is at any given time. So your brain can feel what it's doing without you being able to see anything. You know this is true anyway, you can feel yourself moving. It's your, that sense that helps you understand if, for example, if I put my hand up here and go to touch my nose, no problem at all. Down there, try that one, no problem at all. Because my brain is keeping a map at all times of where my body is in its position. Those little sensors, by the way, are usually embedded, or not usually, they are embedded in muscles, in joints of your bones, and in the bits that link muscles to bones, called the tendons. Those little sensors are always sensing what's going on and they're sending constant flow of information to your brain, so your brain knows where everything is as you move. Coming back to your writing, you're watching your hand move, you know which way you want it to go, your eyes see it moving, and of course you can feel your hands doing what you want them to do. They're going in the right direction, you can feel them moving. When you use a mirror, of course you can feel them moving in the direction you may want them to go, but you see them doing something totally different, especially when you're going in directions which are away from or towards you when you're holding the mirror like that, in other words, vertical lines. When you move your hand down in the mirror, when you're looking at it, it looks like it's going up, and the other way around, of course. Horizontal lines, funny enough, look okay, but it is any direction which you're going that way or this way, forward or back, which looks totally different in a mirror, and that confuses you. You probably noticed, though, that once you got the hang of it, you found it a bit easier, um, and the capital letters, by and large, although very wobbly, I have to admit, weren't as bad as they could have been. When you got onto small letters, lots of people tell me, now mine probably don't look any worse than those ones, but lots of people tell me, and I've seen them do it, they find small letters even harder to do when they're looking in the mirror. They say they get used to the capital letters quite quickly, but they find smaller ones harder to do. I wonder if you found this too. Certainly from my experience, it is the case. 
to what's going on there. Well, think about it. Capital letters have lots more straight lines. And when you're doing this experiment, once you start moving your hand in a particular direction, as long as you get it right, you'll carry on moving without too much problem, particularly on lines going that way and that way. It's easier, in other words, to move in a straight line. Capital letters have lots of them. Little letters, on the other hand, have loads of curved lines. Look here, D, R, M, A, R in particular, loads in my name. And of course, curves are always changing direction. As you move around a curve, it's constantly changing its direction. And that's much harder for your brain to do when it's feeling one thing with the motion, position sensor, the motion, and seeing something different in the mirror. So that's why you probably find it even, even harder to do this by with your name using small letters compared to the big letters. Now, I mentioned to you the title of this included the Da Vinci Code. So what's that got to do with the Da Vinci Code anyway? Well, you may not know this, a rather interesting fact. Leonardo Da Vinci, who you may have heard of, a very famous Renaissance scientist, artist, all-round mega genius, he used to write in mirror writing. A lot of his journals where he recorded his experiments and his observations, especially about nature and science and maths, he used to write lots of his journals in mirror writing. Now, nobody's quite sure why he did this. It depends what books you read, to be honest. Some people think it's because he wanted to keep it in a sort of a code that wouldn't be easy to read. And you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, why couldn't someone get a mirror and just look? Well, in those days when he was around, mirrors were really expensive and it's only very rich people that had mirrors as clear as the ones we have now. So not many people have had mirrors. So that could be one reason. So a quick code that if you just quickly picked him up when he wasn't looking, you'd find it hard to understand. And remember, he wrote in a script, like a handwriting, joined up writing. That's even harder to read in mirror writing, I can tell you. Somebody also suggested, well, Leonardo da Vinci was actually left-handed and left-handed people, when they write, if they're not careful as they're writing, if I pretend to write here, look where my hand is. I write the word and I'll drag my hand over the writing I've just done. Now, Leonardo da Vinci would have been using a pen where the ink takes time to dry and it would have smudged. And any left-handed people can tell you about this one, particularly with old-fashioned pens. They, they take a long time for the ink to dry. So some people say, well, maybe he wrote back to front because it stopped his hand dragging in the ink he just wrote. I'm not convinced by that theory. It seems a rather complicated way of doing it. It may be he's just a bit of a weirdo and like writing in back to front writing. Who knows? So, variables. Okay, think about the position of the mirror for one thing. I held it here, remember, so that I was looking up at the reflection down there. What about if you tried to do the same experiment, but this time hold the mirror at the side and looked in the mirror at the side and tried to copy it that way. As you looked in the mirror, try to write your name in the mirror looking sideways. What about that side, of course? You might have to, if you're like me, right-handed, you'll probably have to hold it like that and look in the mirror that way. But I'm sure you'll figure out a way of doing that. What about changing the size of the writing. Do you think that will help? I mean, I did do quite big letters here, and that had an effect, of course. So what about if you did, I don't know, normal size writing, however normal is for you, on a blank piece of paper, just write as if you were writing something for something you like writing a letter, say, or writing a, a sentence for something you're gonna write about. So just do normal size lettering. Again, capital letters, little letters, and then do the same in the mirror. There's just a couple of suggestions. I'm sure you could think of some other things. Mm-hmm.